EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. Cade York set to do the honors here, and we are underway from Cleveland. And Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Jones looking to throw right away. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. Finding space at the 40. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. And even 20 yards and a first down on the game's very first play. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run again with Harris. Oh, and that one well-designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Browns are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to. Avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. First and ten, Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 13 yards to pick up there, good for a Cleveland first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Hey, look, 48. Look, 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 look,
to throw on second and six. Watson, he's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. A good pickup there for the Browns, 15 yards. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt, and he'll get this one down to about the 17. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw, Watson. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. that sack Watson and the Browns backed up for a third and long they'll look to throw under pressure they got him again Matthew Judon in there to take him down so not only do you not get the first down but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker yeah they're still in range but you're exactly right because you know the kickers over there are saying thanks a lot you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower because he's got to get more distance. That means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked. Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3-0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there, all the things that have gone on. And the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Their first drive of the game, they were moving the ball okay, then the interception, but they only gave up three points the other direction. Yeah, and that's a big relief for them because when you give up an interception like that, it can be such a momentum changer, but to only give up three on the back end gives you a chance to walk back out on the field, and while you're behind, it doesn't feel insurmountable at all. He'll buy some time right. Complete, Hunter Henry with the ground. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Throwing, Jones. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Jones, flush to his right. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. It's J.O.K. Jeremiah Wusu koromoa in there for the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Check, check. On second down, this is Harris. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. 
Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jones now off the play fake. High throw, but the catch is made. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones setting up a screen for Stevenson. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. From the 30 on second down, Jones. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And I think the ball's out. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Here's Jones from the gun on third down. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Here's Stevenson. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try and run with Harris. And he's going to be shoved back short of the goal line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Well, they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. They'll try to run with Harris. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Full connects on the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. To throw is Watson. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Watson. This complete to David Bell. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
that's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first down, Watson. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. On first down, it's Watson. Out route here going to Hunt. He's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Watson on first down. And this one too low. What will look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Chubb on the counter, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Throwing on third down, Watson. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. And the Pats are going to get the football back at their own 17. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Harris starts to drive on the ground, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Back to throw. 
Jones. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. Jones to throw on third down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jadevian Clowney able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. They'll try and throw for it here. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jeremiah owusu koromoa And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. After the interception, here's Watson. This will be caught just inside the 10. That'll give them eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They go with Chubb on second down, and he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They'll run with Chubb, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Now Watson on third and goal. Being chased out left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Deshaun Watson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. at the line ready to go we certainly have a good one on our hands they're trailing after that last touchdown but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter the previous run good for nine here's second and a yard they stay on the ground again it's Harris and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down Harris running straight ahead. 
And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get go. They had everyone crashing the ball here before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, Jones and right side, Henry's got it. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 23. They hand this off to Harris. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Operating from the gun, Jones. That's caught by Myers. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Off the bootleg, Jones. Checking this down to Stevenson. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Here's Jones. Sliding out of the pocket. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. To throw is Jones. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Desperation time now. Here's Jones rolling to his right. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. He's got the lane, and there he goes. If you were me, and he takes.